Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I am fortunate enough to get to do two things that I love the most in this world almost is. One is fishing. And the second is Taking a little flight out. What's that? This is Captain Jim. <laughs> so Captain Jim's just gone to get the keys. He's going to be our pilot today. It's one of my neighbors here on uh, the lake that we live on, and uh, I'm super pumped. I get to do this with him at least once per year, and uh, it is absolutely fantastic. There's the cockpit. I believe this plane's a 69. We'll have to ask Jim about the details later. And here we are, we've got our headsets, and I got the little GoPro ready to go.
So Jim, that was a beautiful landing. Thank you. Ah, no problem. This is a. Uh, Sorry, you said it was a 1969? 1968. 1968. Cessna 172i model. model. Beautiful plane. It was a beautiful evening. That flight was so smooth. Oh, it was beautiful. We're so fortunate. And uh, we made it. So here we are on Lake. And uh, <laughs> here we are on the floats. So we're just going to do some float fishing, Jim calls it. And uh, we'll see what we get. In total reality, uh, it doesn't really matter if you catch fish or not. It's just no, it about doesn't. being out here and uh, yeah. <laughs> just enjoying yourself. And I've never peed off a float before, so this ought to be very interesting. <laughs> we won't film that, thank you. Fighting with a basket. There we go. Come on. What do you got there, Jim? Is it a. You got bottom? <laughs> <laughs> I think Jim's got bottom. He keeps pretending it's a fish, but. Oh, what do we got here? There we go. Oh, pretty. Nice little lake trout. Very nice. A couple of pounds. Nah, that's you just dropped your line and just dropped it. There you just had reached it. bottom. You see him there? Yeah, we got him. Beautiful fish. Could be time of day here, too. Great time of day just to be here. Yeah. So that little cabin that's on that island there, what is that? So there's three camps on this lake, and you're not allowed anymore to have camps in the park. Okay. When he passed away, God, it's got to be 10 years ago at least. And his daughter married a guy by the name of Gord Costigan. I think he owns a start of Todd Opti Optical. Okay. And so he has a plane. And I met him in here once. He's a very nice guy. But I can tell you, in all the years I've been coming here, I've only once, maybe twice, seen anybody at the camp. Hmm. That's so secluded. Yeah, and they can't sell it. It can't be sold outside the family now. It has to. It can be kept, you know what I mean? Yeah. But you cannot sell it now, because it's a part.
pull out that food first that you brought with you. <laughs> so what do you figure, Jim? We go home with one today? What's that? We're going to go home with one today? Yeah, I think so. You can take them home. It's not for the lack of trying though, is it? No, it's not. It's, it's not just the uh, first time we try in the evening. And it's a beautiful evening. The wind calm right down. How long you figure we've been out here now? About an hour and a half? I would say so. Yeah, about I haven't, haven't looked at the clock, but... And the sun is just going down. First line to hit the bottom came up with a fish. Yeah, so Jim threw his line out and the first time he hit the bottom, boom. And that's been the only one. I was lucky enough to have one follow my line once or twice, but that was about the end of that. So I still have my line in the water there now. So we're going to try another five minutes or so and sun is starting to set and we got to get back. So let's hope we catch something in the next five minutes anyway. Well, I was staring at the far shoreline there, and then all of a sudden I was trolling. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about the smell of the old airplane and the fuel. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's uh, intoxicating. It smells like an old uh, sports car. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like a car from the seventies. Well, we're taking off. We. Had a little bit of extra action towards the end there, so uh, just doing some circles right now. You're just warming up the cylinders. We've got the bike away, so I'm not yelling in four Jim's ears or whatever. On the TL, so. We've had a great time, Jim. Thank you very, very much. Yeah, no, no problem. It's awesome. First time I've cried in the evening like this. And now okay, comes the best. Here. Now comes the best time is the takeoff. Here we go.
So we made it another successful flight, Jim. Yeah. Another successful flight. It was fantastic. When it's like that. Jim, uh, thank you very much to my pilot. Great, great, great time. And uh, so here we are back at the dock. Oh, here, I gotta give you the fish too. Oh, and he's gonna give me the fish that he caught. So, because if I go home without a fish, I could be in some serious trouble. So we've gotta make sure that we uh, get that fish for sure.